Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for the months of January and February 2022. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. All right, so I'm going to pull one of these cards for January, February. We have Ask for Help from Others and then Helpful People at the bottom. Wow, look at that combination, Cancer. Okay, so that's some uh, good advice right there. Okay, ask for help from others and helpful people. So many of times when you ask for help from the universe, it does come in the form of other people. All right, so I'm going to pull one tarot card for January for the advice, then one for February. So let's take a look at January for Cancer. Guidance for January. Wow, six of pentacles. Talk about receiving help. All right, Six of Pentacles, look at this person. So we have the witch here and she has lots of coins to give or lots of assistance to give, wisdom, love, okay? Whatever form of help this is. Advice. Okay, and it is looking at giving and receiving. So are you opening yourself up to receive from others, not just giving? All right, so that's for January. Let's take a look at February for Cancer. Wow, Queen of Wands. Okay, so this can definitely be a helpful person. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Now, doesn't have to be those signs, but it definitely is somebody who has a lot to give or also someone who is just like very um, passionate and someone who is very helpful um, caring, they like to take charge, you know, they like to assist. So it definitely is that kind of energy. All right, three for the situation, please. All right, so we've got justice, 10 of swords and strength. Okay, yeah, so you definitely could be going through something at this time that is asking you to really nurture yourself, um, especially with the strength card and the 10 of swords. It can feel like Maybe, you know, you've been screwed over in the past or you feel like you've kind of been stabbed in the back or you've gone through something really challenging and this has just been mentally draining. Maybe you're just feeling like you really need that extra assistance right now. So open yourself up to that kind of energy. We do have justice and justice does represent the scales of justice. So this could be something you're going through, you know, involving a relationship, um, and furthermore, maybe like, you know, a marriage or something, um, legal matters, divorce here with justice, but it is definitely about balance in the law of karma. So stay in your integrity and I'm going to pull a couple cards to clarify and take a look. I do want to see justice. Let's clarify justice here for cancer. And also just know that justice is going to be served to you if that is what you are looking for. And it can come in the form of another person who is really helpful to you, okay? So let's take a look at justice. Maybe you are playing the role of assisting somebody. Look at this. Yeah, justice, five of pentacles. These were also there. Um, but I do think that I'm gonna I'm gonna take these five of pentacles justice again. So yeah, feeling maybe some of you are struggling too, like money wise, or you're just struggling in general, even health. But um, it can just be whatever struggle that you're going through. Like justice, somebody's coming in here to help. Okay, but for some of you, you need to receive that assistance. Okay, I want to take a look at the ten of swords. All right, so let's see. Yeah, we've got King of Swords. So this person can be very cold. Um, maybe this is the person that you're dealing with here. Seven of Wands, somebody who has their guard up. All right, um, Two of Pentacles, dealing with a lot on their plate, a lot of responsibilities, um, not very balanced. Six of Swords is like, release the burdens. Um, it is time for some of you to like, Move away from this energy if you're dealing with this kind of person or situation. You know, move towards love. Stay in heart center. Okay, anything or anyone who does not make you feel good, I feel like, you know, 
There's going to be that separation from that person or that energy here. All right, so I want to pull some oracle cards so I can get a better idea here of what's going on. So what does Cancer need to hear? Wow, we have three cards here. Okay, yeah, so look at this. We have warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. So stand up for what you believe in, what your heart is centered around. Do what's best for you. Stand strong, tall, and proud. Okay, see or see beyond the current situation. All right, so there may be something going on right now that feels a bit heavy or challenging, but I think January definitely is holding that energy for a lot of people and i'm seeing things really moving forward more in february so see beyond this current situation don't let certain circumstances control you um summer bask in joy and light stay positive remain hopeful and summertime can be a time of real growth okay so just think several months from now how things are going to be so different if you're dealing with a challenge right now all right, but I'm definitely seeing here like things are going to balance out. Justice is going to be served. And if something is falling away from you, it's because you deserve better. Yeah, clean it up. See that? <clears throat> so clean it up. Okay, so this can be the mundane things, you know, money, finances, paying bills. But also this can represent the energy in your life. Okay, anyone or anything that is not healthy for you gives you bad vibes, smudge that right? Get that out of your life. Clear it out. There are better things that are waiting for you, but I do feel like you need to make room for it, you know, and cleaning it up mentally, physically, emotionally, you know, it can be clean eating, healthy mind, healthy body, healthy soul. All right, so I'm going to pull one from the Angels of Abundance. What else for Cancer? Yeah, do the work and clean it up. See that? That's coming out really strongly. Even at the bottom, exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Look at that. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Look at that. Okay, and exercise to increase. So the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. And that's so true. To manifest quickly, we have to be in a high energy space. We have to be able to receive it and be able to work with it, right? So Definitely getting that message here. Clear away the clutter, anything that is not good for you, anything or anybody, and you are going to bring in so much into your life by doing that. I hope that you have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.